Hello, everybody. My name is Yo Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. Coming to you live from the final of the Dagobah Galactic Championship Qualifier. Why am I going so fast? Well, these guys are jousting in this final. We're opening up the Choose Your Champion poll right away. Choose Your Champion. Bet one all or two. Who do you think is going to win this game? I'm with James today. What's up, James? Hey, guys. All right, James. Uh, ja, we got four four X Wings and Rose Tico versus Lando, Asajj, and Bosk. They they they're going hard. James, who do you think's got the advantage in this one? Oh man, I I think just to see this opening gauge, I think it, it, X Wings have to have the advantage, right? Ooh, but these false transponders. False transponder Ooh. going on that going on that red right there taking away that focus. <laughs> they came to play. Get your bets in now. I gotta close it once we get into the damage race. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, put it in the comments down below. Also today, fundraiser Vander Cook, one city strings. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Let's go. We got Bosk out there dropping the target lock on the red T70 X wing. It's gonna be a range three engagement. Uh, Lando. Is, uh, is a bit of a support ship out here. He's got Jabba the Hutt supporting the re reoccurring false transponder codes. You also got Cutthroat as well. Man. Let's go. Range three shots. Asajj getting started. I'm closing it in like 30 seconds, guys. Let's go. Oh, we got to back it up because of the dice. Oh, we got to back up the camera because of the dice. Here we go. Hit crit. And we got three. One squiggle. That's going to be two damage to start. Remember, the false transponder codes ripped off that. And, oh, there's a tractor. The tractor, because of the Shadow Caster title, we, we didn't get an opportunity to go through the list. Um, Asajj has that Shadow Caster title um, after an attack hits, and the defender is in your front arc and turret arc. The defender gains a uh, tractor token. You'll see that that T-70 was pulled forward, likely into range two for Bosk. It is, and which means Lando is going to be able to get a shot now. Now. All right, three dice coming in from Bosk. They're forgetting to roll it in the box. Here we go. In the box, so we can actually see what's going on. And hit, focus, focus. Did Bosk bring a was one, one change to a crit because of Greedo and didn't bring a focus token on this one? Did a target lock instead? And able to convert for hit, crit, crit. Only a single die here. Here's the roll. That's a blank. One of those crits is going to get split because of boss ability. That lizard man is fierce. So that's going to be two hits. Excuse me. Three hits and a crit going through. Shield hit hit crit. And it is a wounded pilot. And there's still a Lando Calrissian out there to, uh, to deliver some more pain. Possibly taking that ship out. Here we go. Lando. One. Two hits. With the tractor. It is range three, though. You need to be perfect to stay alive. 
and Jonathan clears a T70X wing off in the opening engagement before the X wings have even gotten to shoot. And the thing is, with the ranges, I'm not. Is Tor going to be able to fire all the ships? Rose, no range. Looks like the rest of the X wings will. Woo! Let's go. Yeah, man. It's too much. Violence. Hit. Crit. Coming in from the X-Wings. You're going to land one. First shield. Range three shot. Got that's three. Waiting for the defense dice. It uses the force to get the third evade. And this is another range three shot. Hit, hit, crit coming in. And that's another one damage going through. Shields are down on Asajj, and that's it. Also triggering a Zam Wessel trigger here. That is, you better mean business. And that is on Bosk. So because of that, that means that at the end of the engagement, uh, if somebody did not shoot the person carrying Zam and the card still face down, then you gain two charges at the end of the engagement. Whoa! So much stuff just happened. And we got another trigger going on right now. Yeah, Jabba. Jabba the Hutt. I mean, we never see this card. What does it do? I know. Dur during, the <laughs> during the end phase, you may choose one friendly ship at range 0 to 2 and spend a charge. If you do, that ship recovers one charge on one of its equipped illicit carts. Oh, my goodness. False transponders everywhere. Yeah, so he was able to get false transponders back on Asajj. Wow. So we're probably going to see a 5k here from Asajj. Oh, 5k, you think so? Yeah, pop, do that and then pop the pop the contraband. Mm. Could the if the X-Wings go one forward, it doesn't fit, though. I think it does. You think so? Let me uh, see. One, two, three, I think it does. four, five, and a ship. Oh, that's close. Rose might mess it up, but <laughs> she has to commit to that. Right. Now, of course, oh, my goodness. Man, Tor. <laughs> my yeah, goodness. Yeah, messed up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> losing that X-Wing. Yeah, one rounded. Feels bad. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you know what? <laughs> these there are many variations of kinds of games that happened in X-Wing and uh brutal ones uh, do exist. A smaller 77 <laughs> uh said yes. Yeah. <laughs> False transponders making Jabba look good. But this is this is great. You know, Jonathan Hall bringing uh bringing this list, you know, uses a piece that we knew, Bosk is great. It does awesome stuff. Oof. And um, Asajj is a piece that appeared um, just a little bit, kind of starting to started to emerge. And now we have this uh, th this Lando Calrissian combo with Jabba. I mean, has Jonathan might end up setting uh, setting a meta trend here. Okay, check this out. Tor. P placing his X-Wings at different levels. I like this. 
So trying to block the 5K from Asajj with the slow moves. The yellow um, T70 X-Wing moving up, though, to try to uh, catch any of the turns out that Asajj might be making and to probably bo block Bosk. Setting up target locks. That just triggered false transponder codes. Broke the lock. So that that's that's smart. That was a uh, coordinate from Rose. Yes. So so most times, whenever you see um, people do the false transponder codes, you just like lose the lock, right? Mm -hmm. But he's actually when you get when you're doing the jam, you actually get to choose. So he's actually choosing to remove the focus, not the lock. Mm. Kelly on in the chat saying Lancer class in the finals. Good for me. Hashtag spirit animal. That's right. And they did attempt the 5k. It didn't fit James. It did not fit. Sad. But he actually bumped into the one that has him locked. That's awesome. That's tr this is true. And I think that's the reason why he held on to the lock James is if the yeah. 5k is in there it bumps. I'm carrying a mod now to the next turn when it, 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 it doesn't matter either way. Mm hmm <laughs> Ooh, he could take out Rose here. But he may use triple zero on Oh, he's gonna do it on the green. All righty. It's getting spicy. So stress, and this is smart. <laughs> Asajj putting her ability, stressing the green T70 actually makes it so that now it cannot K-turn behind her next turn. Pretty smart. It's a good move. There's another stress going out there. I saw a stress go on blue. What did I miss? Yeah, Asajj. I mean, Asajj can only choose one, right? Oh, triple zero. Triple zero. That's what I missed. I got Asajj's ability, not the triple zero. All right. Two hits and a crit. And that ends up hitting blue. We just set up another tractor situation for that blue X-Wing. And it's getting shoved up, which takes away Asajj, uh, the, the shot that was on Asajj at range one there, and brings it just a little closer to Bosk and Lando. And changes a hit to a crit with Greedo. Two hits and a crit. Only one agility. Has a focus. Will spend it. Takes a couple shields. Oh, that feels bad. And watch out for Bosk. Bosk probably has uh, You Better Mean Business down and... If that blue X-Wing decides to shoot into boss, expect the bonus attack. Oh, man. That additional crit. Doing some more work. Here's the next shot. Here's Lando. And that is it. That is all she wrote. Dead.
Pop goes the X-Wing. Ah. You know what? Tor is not giving up. Never give up. Never surrender. Rose firing range one on Asajj. Two blanks and a focus. There's a hit. Got two after spending the calculate. Asajj taking some damage. Takes two. Needs one more for half. Doesn't have any other shots on her this turn. X-Wings likely to focus on Lando. Nice. Full string into Lando. Two hits, two crits. Lando does get the natty. Takes three shields. Now, another shot in the Lando range three. Tor avoiding the you better mean business trigger on Bosk. A complete blank out. Now, of course, we don't know if it's you better mean business because if it is you should thank me, then Bosk would get a card. It's you should thank me. Jonathan Hall playing out of his mind right now. Gets the bonus attack. Who is he going after? He's got two range, two options. It's going to go at the X-Wing. Three dice. Of course, got the crit in there. Hit crit. Split the crit. Make it three hits. Shields down on the T-70 X-Wing. This resistance squad is being brutalized. This, this is exactly what he did to those IGs earlier. Yeah. Man. Is there a record for the fastest final game? Um, there is, actually. There was a really fast one somewhere. I remember hearing about this. I can't remember where, though. <laughs> Seventeen. Using Java it, it, to get false transponder back. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, yep. The, the the Java shenanigans here. The <sighs> tractor beam, man. Just Jonathan Hall has used his tools extremely well. Extremely well. <laughs> yeah, I did not think we'd see a Jabba in the final. Mm -mm. Jabba the Hutt? What? <laughs> Jabba the who? <laughs> it looks like uh, the Swamp of Dagobah being taken over by, by Jabba. We're moving in. Well, you know what? Um, this is now... <laughs> now we can see... You know, how do I say this? This is an archetype that in in uh, in big... Uh, you know, we, we haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. This is the first time I've seen this, this exact archetype with this uh, build-out. And you can see the potential that it has. Guys, don't joust this. Next time you see it, do not joust it. And this isn't a one-off list. No, literally, no, it's coming one back. The, one of the top four, one of the top four players, swapped out uh, Bosk for Tarani. Mm -hmm. So this is this is not a not not to take anything away from the list, but this is this is not a one-off list. This is, this is not like um, Jonathan's like special sauce. Like mm -mm. people know about this now. <laughs> yep, it's coming. It's coming. The reign of Jabba. Paint Strip says it's the Italy Scum XTC list. Well, there you go. Well, 
Well, now now it's out in the world. We've released it. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Next time you see Jabba across the table. Thanks, Dion. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it existed, and now now it's out in the wild. Watch out. Yeah. Mm. There's the 5K. Contraband cybernetics. Yep. And, and that's like the, the the cool use of the, the inclusion of that in the squad is even though Asajj attempted the if – you're, if you're unsure of the K-turn, you don't use contraband cybernetics. If you made it, then cool, you made it. But – that allows you the following turn after you've bumped to do the 5k again to get that t that k turn another time super smart all righty These T-70X wings facing off. Bosk, no movement because of the bump. So no actions there. Here we go. Range two. No, it's, she's using an Asajj ability. Ah, Asajj ability, attacks. yes. Putting the stress out there. Now range two. Mm -hmm. Range two shot. Got That's two hits. Lock. And does not have the eyeball. Oh, natties. That's, that's very good. <laughs> A Jello Azul said my donation isn't going through for some reason. I'm sorry. Um, let me just double check. <gasps> wow. Oh, boss, boss whiff. completely whiffed. Range three shot. You know, maybe boss just tired of doing all the heavy lifting this weekend. It's like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Three hits from Lando, <laughs> though. Hits. Remember, got that third dice from the stress sitting on there using the Lando's Millennium Falcon. It's going to take one damage. Shields are down on the green X-Wing. Also takes another card. Rose is going on Lando. We might see some focus fire on Lando. One hit, re-roll because of Rose's ability. Didn't get anything there. Still going to get a damage. Has a, I think it might be range one. Oh, Lando using his ability. Got the evade. Ability there on Lando is to re-roll blank results by taking a stress. So no damage there. Here's a range one shot. Two hits and a crit. Focus. Spend it, make it three hits and a crit. Got the natty evade. Still takes two and a crit. Crit is a wounded pilot. Mm. And the last X-Wing firing on Lando as well. Two hits. And that'll do an additional damage, bringing Lando down to four hull. 
Wow. Absolutely ridiculous. Mm -mm -mm. Well, this has been entertaining. I'll tell you that much. All right, using uh, Java to uh, to get some more false transponders back. And uh, after after like listening to these players a little bit, uh -huh. Jonathan knows his list backwards, inside out, and upside down. He's in a rhythm to say, okay, in phase, I have my Greedo charge, I have my Asajj force, and what do I want to do with Java? Every every single round, so he knows he knows this list very well, to the point to where he knows exactly what he wants to do every round. He knows he wants to attack with Asajj first to get the jam or to get the, uh, or he doesn't want to forget the Asajj, uh, spin a force to give a stress. He doesn't want to forget triple zero, and then he wants to shoot with Asajj first to give out the Shadowcaster tractor, mm -hmm. and then he wants to shoot with Bosk and then shoot with Lando to finish it up. So he, he's in a very good rhythm. Which is very incredible, I think. Yeah, I mean it's it's important. You know, miss miss triggers can can uh, can lose you games, even just one, if you forget it. And having some type of 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 procedure that's consistent is a uh, is a great way to try to avoid uh, the missing those. Kellyana coming in and evening out. The uh, the donation amount to of of nice and round eight thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you so much. And don't worry, guys. Seventeen is still in there. Look at the percentage. Two hundred seventy one. Flip it. Seventeen. It's always there. Always there. Seventeen. <laughs> we'll see what what happens here. Now, Bosk might just end up stopping. Because there's a good chance you could end up still having that green T70 in uh, in arc. And I think one of the other strengths of this list is... Uh, um, Agreed. Is, yeah, is, it has so much arc <laughs> coverage. Sorry, I was I was trying to gather my <laughs> no, words. <you> <laughs> It has so yeah, much... every single one of these ships has 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. And threatening 180 degrees, too. Mm -hmm. All right, that yellow X-Wing bumps. <laughs> All right, getting, getting the turn out. It, it's, it's time now. So he's choosing to keep his lock, and therefore the false transponder codes till later. Mm -hmm. All right, Lando, three straight, has a back arc. Ooh, he may boost left here to avoid two arcs. I guess you're assuming that we're getting a talent roll or a K turn from Green. Well, Green's already moved. Oh, sorry. It's Rose. I did, didn't see you there, little yeah. Rose. Just had a moment. Yep, did the boost. Now out of both arcs. And has arc coverage on that side. Anyway. The boost is stressful, so it does take a stress. And Asajj just kind of scoots up. Two forward. Loses her stress, but does bump. So no action. Ooh, and we got a wounded pilot trigger there on the uh, on the roll, so double stress for Lando.
Here comes Rose. Getting shot by Asajj. Oh, sorry. First receiving the stress from Asajj. And now gonna get shot. Range two. Yeah, I think you go for Rose here. I mean, like, Rose is gonna get rerolls, but could be really good. Because she can move him. Mm hmm. That's two hits. And that is potentially hits. We got rerolls for Rose. Yeah, yeah, he has rerolls. Yeah. Because of the attack arc. Yeah, it's whatever's in Asajj's arc. Yep. I was going to reroll them both. Got nope. the same result. Which means it not only hits for two damage, it's also delivering a tractor, which is going to pull um, Rose either like barrel roll to the left. Um, I mean, I think that's probably the safest one. It's a bit of a stretch to go to the right and try to get in Lando's arc, but you can you can get or or to get into boss, but you can easily get into Lando. And Lando is, excuse me, Rose is going to go ahead and take up the rule that able that she's able to get a ninety degree turn to hopefully get a shot before she uh, gets taken out here. But Lando's Millennium Falcon, four dice firing, one hit, one eyeball. Oof. Might end up living. So far, so good. Oh, dice. Ah, yes, the tractor. Sad. Too many dice Sad. on that roll. Yeah. Here's the roll. And it does hit. Rose, down to two. Nope. Rose! Got him. She re-rolled it. She lives. And Rose gets an opportunity to shoot. Double stress, but going down, fighting. Doesn't have any friendly ships in the attack arc. Swinging big, only got a single hit. Got a blank. Does do some damage. T-70s don't have anything. Uh, Lord of Britannia asking, how did uh, Rose turn that way? It's that tractor rule that when your one of your ships is tractored by an enemy, you can choose to take a stress to rotate 90 degrees. It's a great question. And Jabba is done. He's all out. Uh, additionally, some people are asking, um, why didn't Rose reroll on defense? Um, did she not? What's that? Some, I, why I lost what? it. Well, yeah, somebody asked, why did Rose, why did Rose re-roll on, oh, on offense? Did she? I don't she think did she did. not. No, she, she did not. Nope. She did not re-roll on offense. I don't think she did. Okay, because she has no friendly ships in the attack arc. I didn't think I saw it. Maybe I'm getting tired again. No, she definitely didn't. Because they right. talked about it, that she doesn't have rerolls. Okay. <laughs> Audience is getting no, tricksy. She... On no, offense. She, she did not reroll on offense. On the reds. On the red dice. <sighs> Fun walk. Yeah, these, these chat... These, they're... Silly. <laughs> Stop being silly. That's all right. Let it, let them be silly. They did a good job today. Yeah, just, just span weekend. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just me and you in here now, Dion. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
<laughs> Pecking bread. She, she did. Oh, Jello <laughs> Azul donated $100. Whoa. Pushing the number 8250 yeah, this is all Dion's master plan to raise all this money and then ban all the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Show up to Vandercook on Monday. Hand them a check for over ten thousand dollars. <laughs> and retire. <laughs> they ask, what did it cost? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right. Well, we have the T-70 X-Wings coming around. Is the 17 safe? Is it all right? <laughs> Rose, one straight. Keeping it simple. Loses one of the two stress that was on it. Remember, receive that second stress from the rotation off the tractor. And that is a choice made. The first stress came from Asajj using her ability. So green X-Wing over there sitting at three hole. That looks like a spicy attack for Bosk. Bosk reaching out with the target lock. And the false transponder code as well. That's right. It's going to be triggering that. Read, read, read the chat. What would they say? Oh. <laughs> 17. <laughs> Fun walk with a dollar 69. Wow. Nice. Wow. It's for the children. Fun walk. You know I'm not going to write 69 in that check. Like, it's not going to happen. I can't. They can't do it. <laughs> yeah, what, uh, Kellyanna, what's the sum of the current Alive Ships initiative? 17. <laughs> <laughs> you know what number it is. <laughs> no. Yeah, can we start saying nice after 17 now? <laughs> <laughs> gonna pocket this. No, I'll just add it up to this another dollar. I will add what is that? The uh the thirty one cents. <laughs> yeah, exactly. GSP donates two thousand and one dollars. I can't read that. I can't read that. You guys, the, the Fab the Friendly I'll, Show. I'll read it, Dion. No, don't, it. don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Love it. All right. Asaj, checking her arc for the ability. Here we go. Has a range one shot. Two hits and a crit. Oh my God! They they added eighteen dollars. Thank you for your donation. We're at two eight six nine six nine for our donations. <laughs> Love it. One hit coming from Bosk. Only one. Turns it to a crit. <laughs> oh, that's such a hard decision. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he says, he says, if it's two damage, no. If it's, if it's yeah. one, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the thing with Bosk. It's always two. All righty. <laughs> uh, 
All righty. Lando rolling for the uh, the attack here. One crit. There's a blank. That's another card. Another crit. And that is a loose stabilizer. And this T70 up here at the top. Going to be firing at Lando. At this point, Jonathan's in the uh, in the cleanup mode, but Tor is working it, trying to see if he can find some light and a little bit Ooh. of luck, and hit crit crit. Natties. Oh, Ooh, that's actually pretty important. Loose stabilizer on Asajj as well. Mm, all right. Got to go straight. Pull both of them out of the deck back to back. I think you just 5K anyway. <laughs> yeah, you don't care. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> you, got, you got the contraband cybernetics, you don't care. Mm -hmm. One damage. Okay. Chilling guy 85 oh, no. asks, does this mean that big bases are back? <laughs> the big base is back in town. Just break that stabilizer off. You can buy a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, Zam trigger. It's a May. Yeah, so... it's, it's optional. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting out of his groove. He he's not checking everything. Oh, Bretness thirty seven, saving me here. With the eleven dollar and one cent donation to break the 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 no. the, the number trap. <laughs> <laughs> I love that A. Carlson said they never left. <laughs> As you know, you know you what? If they, that, if, like they, if they, if they, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If they're gonna keep doing you? The, 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 <laughs> we need to bring back the '69. Bring it back around. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, it's for the children. That's okay. All right, two bank. Excuse me, three bank. No. To the right. Yeah. Once again. Making some decisions on the actions. Hmm. Had a reversal there. Did he must have changed his mind? I mean he's the first player to go, it barely matters. Yeah, he figured it out. Yeah, he just put it on the wrong one. He asked him, Do you mind if I take it back? He said, Yeah, that that's completely fair. <laughs> Alright, cool. All right, three bank towards Lando. And thank you for the donation. We are now at $8,282.69. 69, nice. <laughs> Garrus909. Doing, do, do, <laughs> doing the work. All righty. Rose Tico putting a target lock out there. Trying to trigger the the false transponder, right? That's what he's doing. Yeah, he's he's false. He's popping trans false transponder on Lando. So that triggers a jam action. They chose the focus. Jeebus twenty seven dropping fifteen. Thank you so much for your donation. Oh, 
Oh, ho, ho, wow. That's way too close to that rock. <laughs> oh, he had to turn left, too. Oh. Yeah, so it does take the stress there. <laughs> Loose stabilizer damage on Asajj. It's one of those situations where it's, it is better for the game if she's in this fight. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> And it, it speaks to um, to resource management on, on Jonathan's part. He knows that he doesn't have to pan panic about that loose stabilizer. Just play with it. The Dead Baron dropping $20. You guys are ridiculous, and I love you. Wounded pilot roll, yes. One hit equals one stress. All right, reaching. No rerolls for Rose, though. One hit. Come on, Rose. I believe in you. Rose trying to stay alive. Oh, she got it. All day. <laughs> All day. Don't doubt. <laughs> I like the um I, I like I like the reference in there, the Jabba Yaga. All right, well, not not great on that roll. Only a single focus coming in from Lando against Rose. Gonna spend the focus for one. Uh, forcing the spend. And looks like after spending the focus, no damage. Yep, and for our, our viewers, uh, we shifted the camera. Normally, we're here. I guess we can return to that view. Now that the, the first part of the game was literally uh, just on that front third. Two hits. One get a change to a crit with Greedo from Bosk, and oh, is that an eyeball wait. or an evade? That's an eye. It's an eye. He needs a reroll though. Yep, he's got the uh, the other X wing in there. Oh, it was the X wing. Oh. So two shields off using the Bosk ability. One hit. And, oh, a complete oh, the width. <laughs> the, thank God you could took the lock. <laughs> Another whiff. Oh, my goodness. Look at the total hole of the scum list. I don't want to anymore. <laughs> <laughs> How do you people find this? Seventeen. Yep. Today's this weekend stream brought to you by the number seventeen. <laughs> ah 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 ah. One. That that's as far as I go. I won't. I won't count all the way to seventeen. You see the message from Rocket Crocker there? Oh, come, Scott, don't clip that. Ah, dang it. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> 
Uh, I remember, if you want to know what uh, uh, somebody broke the balance of the donations, <laughs> if you want to know what we're talking about, the number 17, type type exclamation, exclamation point 17, take a look at the image that's linked there, and uh, you'll see the, the, the hilarity that happened yesterday. You're turning into a, a soundbite? Nice. <laughs> So many 17s. So we have focus actions taken by the resistance. Boss coming around. Oh, what in the world? Librarian... Librarians 101. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to read that here in a minute. Uh, the Dead Baron 101. Uh, I I don't have an exact number like how many kids it would help because it's dependent on how many kids signed up. But I mean that's a significant number of lessons and instruments. Like it is it is really really significant. Because what it, what it allows the, the school to do is buy the instruments in bulk, right? So that lowers the price right there. Um, it's, it's pretty awesome. So I, I'm excited. I'll get more details as, uh, as they're given to me. But we, we're exceeding their expectations, I'll tell you that. All about that episode. <laughs> and here's the roll. One hit, two focuses. This is coming from Ventress into Rose. Changes for two. Using the force. R for Rose, Rose rolls. And got only a focus. <laughs> and that tractor hits. Probably not going to be moving the... Uh, Probably not going to be moving Rose there. Taking the range two shot. Yep. And, you know, one thing that we didn't even talk about the strength of this list, a one hit, two focus, a spend focus for three, is the fact that all these ships are initiative four, so you got a lot of flexibility in the shot order. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty much the same. as always been Asajj first. Mm -hmm. uh, and there goes Rose uh, down. Rose gone. Uh, because you want to get that tractor out there. but And then usually Boss comes in with a big hit on that tractor chip, and then Lando finishes him off. But uh, you can do it however um, however you want. Boss fires one hit, turns to a crit going into the X-Wing. Probably doesn't hit. Spend the focus to prob to, to not hit. That little X-Wing is fighting. Here we go. X-Wing firing back at Lando. Trying to get a ship off the board. Two hits. There you go. Guaranteed. All right. That clears the table for Lando. Now we have a Blue Squadron rookie 
versus Asajj and Bosk. Asajj is down to four hole. Bosk sitting full, I believe, full. right? Yeah. Yeah, full. has been untouched. So what's the wind condition? You know, it, it is definitely an uphill climb. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing the math here. I think even if he gets the rest of Asajj, it's only going to give him 39 points, and he needs 64. Um, so he can get half on Asajj, or he can finish Asajj and half Bosk and not lose half on himself. Right, so he'd have to, like, you know, get get lucky, big swing on uh, on Asajj, take her out next turn, and then work on getting behind Bosk. Yeah, definitely possible, especially with those BB droids, which mm -hmm. he's out of now. Oops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine Nick said, uh, dropping a sixty-nine dollar donation. We we are almost at <laughs> we are at eight thousand three hundred ninety-three dollars and thirty-eight cents. You guys are <laughs> ridiculous. Thanks, fam. And Asajj, one banking, target lock. And they got two shots there. Asajj likely firing first, seeing if you can get that tractor beam. Triple zero decision making. Give Asajj a calculate or take a stress. And takes a stress. Here we go. Range one for massage. Wow. Hit crit. Does it have uh, has a lock. Got the crit. Spends the force. Guaranteed hit. So you know you're taking at least three. Spends a focus. Taking three. That is hit, crit, crit. And a tractor getting applied. Shield and two cards. Looks like he's him and hawing a little bit. Oh, he's not he's not going to spend the focus. Oh, direct hit. He's dead. Yep. That's yeah. it. <laughs> oh, wow. not cho choosing not to do it. Well, congratulations, Jonathan Hall. You are the Dagobah Galactic Championship champion. Thank you to ISO. Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.